when searching for the infrared position on any device, whether it's a Blu-ray player, a surround receiver, a cable box, a television, one of the ways to do that is to take the remote that you are accustomed to using for controlling that device and get ready to use uh, the guide or channel up and down, something along those lines. Even the power command might be useful in identifying the sweet spot. So if, for instance, your emitter has fallen off of a device and you don't know where to put it back on, one thing you can do is try to look for any sticky tape residue. That would be useful. And the other thing you can do is try to identify where that sweet spot is. In this situation, I'm going to use the channel up and down buttons, and I'll probably just use channel up. And I'm going to hit that, and I notice that my IR emitter lights up every time I hit a button on the remote control. So now my emitter's ready to go. I've already put my remote control in the cable watching mode. This works for any of the universal remotes or app you may use to control your system. So get to the cable box, the device you're trying to find, and then take the emitter, and as you press a channel number, which I'm going to do off the screen because I can't hold the phone and hit the button at the same time, um, you can begin to run it across the face of the unit, pressing the channel up or down button at any moment. Once it starts to respond, which it does there, then you can fasten it in place. Now that's been fastened in place. I happen to know exactly where the sensor position is on this one, so I'm going to move it back over top of where it actually is. Sometimes you can see inside of there, and you're looking for a little purple window. There are actually two of them inside of here. You can see one there and one right beside it. It's this one beside it that's actually the IR receiver for this device. So I'm going to stick that emitter right over top of that and now test using my remote control again. And I am controlling the channel numbers. Fantastic. I've regained control of my cable box. Now that would still hold true if you were using sound for the surround receiver you would use volume up and down. If you happen to have um, an emitter fall off of a television, you may want to go to one of the internal features of the TV, such as turning your system on and off, or if your television is actually controlling the volume, you can use volume up and down for that. If you have a smart TV and you run Netflix or YouTube or any of the streaming services inside your TV, then put your remote control in the mode for controlling the smart TV. And then try to navigate up, down, left, right, use the guide, what, whatever commands you would normally use for that activity. And see if you can find the sweet spot on that device. Good luck.